So tell me, what are you doing, man? man what are you I'm, doing on the floor? I'm trying to dig almost a hole. I'm trying to get as low as I can because the Bible says that if I decrease, man, the Lord will increase. So, man, I'm trying to get as low. I'm trying to decrease. Man, that's a really good picture of the way that we're supposed to live. But get up and let's talk just a minute about this, man. Well, I'm let's trying talk to about decrease. what that really looks like. You know, in, in John 3, 3, 330 John the Baptist says look I got to decrease uh -huh. so he can increase and that laying out before the Lord is a really good picture of that well let's talk just a minute about what that really looks like in our lives what do you think that that he meant when he says I've got to decrease so Jesus can increase well when, when I hear, hear that uh, man I've got to get out of the way yeah I, it says no more me but but it's Jesus in me, and the less it's it's about being about me uh, coming to a place in my life that that I have to surrender. That's right. And, and, and I have found this uh, that uh, that's tough. Uh, I I, I want to think that I can do this thing on my own, but I have to come to realization that I can't. But Jesus can, and in order for Him to do what He needs to do in me. I've got to get out of the way. That's right. You know, it goes back to this Christ life principle yeah. that we've been talking about that's talking that's taught throughout scripture. Yeah. You know, and John the Baptist just makes it real clear that look, this Jesus life is less of me <laughs> and it's more of Jesus. Yeah. The less of me that it, that it is, the more of Jesus it can be. And that's the principle that we've been trying to teach. You know, we talked last time about it and just some of the people that had influenced us in that area. Let's mention a couple of books that maybe we've read and uh, some guys that had, have had influence in our lives about living after Christ's life, decreasing so he can increase or letting Jesus be Jesus in us. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about Roy Hessian, yeah. the guy that wrote The Calvary uh -huh. Road, uh, Andrew Murray, I know you've read a lot of his stuff, mm -hmm. I, I think you have, uh -huh. yeah. uh, and a guy named Ian Thomas, yeah. really good about the surrendered life. Yeah. And then a book that you mentioned last time that the Lord really used in your life, which is actually a workbook. It's called The Message of Grace by Wayne Barber. You know, and uh, those are some of the guys that I think of that make this less of me, more yeah. of him really, really yeah. clear and help us get a clear understanding of what the Word really teaches us yeah. about the Christ life. And wouldn't you also say Vance Pittman? Yeah, I would say a newer book that's out, uh, Unburdened by Vance Pittman, right. uh, does a really good job he does in there of teaching the Christ life. We want to encourage you. We want to encourage you to, to get in the Word of God. See what the Word of God really teaches that the Christ life is, that this relationship with Jesus really is. It really is about me decreasing so he can increase and living in a life in total dependence upon the Jesus that lives within us. Pray you have a blessed day. Pray you dig the Scripture. Read some guys that will really help you understand the Christ life and let Jesus be Jesus in you today decrease so he can increase. Have a blessed day.